Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Denis and this is the latest update from Ukraine. We have some breaking news here my friends, because Ukrainian army successfully put away the troops out from Zote, Hirske. I was really concerned about Zote and Hirske my friends, because there were no roads left for evacuation and now it is confirmed that the decision was taken by our generals to withdraw a little bit from that area obviously you cannot withstand the attack from the three sides so obviously we're gonna go and defend Lysychansk if we go on a timeline my friends you'll see how it happened so it was just for the previous update Zolotek, Katerinovka, Hirske you see all of those villages were under Ukrainian control and there were no roads here and just some fields uh, open area and somehow we were able to evacuate. I think it happened during the evening time after the sun went down and we obviously deflected the attention of the Russian forces probably with our artillery and after that we let our forces away towards Lysychansk and we're gonna defend this city. Is there a risk for the Lysychansk to be circled? Not yet my friends because we have supply lines obviously we use this road uh, to Siversk and from Siversk there is a small road goes to Lysychansk which is actually close to the front lines but Russia is not able to cross the river of Siversk Donetsk that is why it's quite safe for us to deliver goods to Lysychansk and to the Siversk itself obviously all of the bridges were destroyed by Russians but we used the small boats probably to deliver supplies to the factory area and the airport is under Ukrainian control however it was partially occupied by Russians uh, a couple of days ago there was some fighting here they were really close to the airport but we pushed them away from Warnova also great news that our army still causes severe losses to Russians even though Russia uses the superiority in artillery in the armored vehicles and soldiers my friends this is a very tough place my friends a very big hot spot and I'm happy that we evacuated our troops change position you may call it retreat uh, but we didn't surrender and I consider this a successful operation from Ukrainian side. The main task for Ukrainian army right now is to save the lives of our soldiers. That is what we are doing here. That is why we retreated to Lysychansk, my friends. And of course, those guys, they need rotation. Also, we have the information that Russia pushes towards Bahmut. And according to some of the resources, they already were able to capture uh, this uh, road over here, the part of it. And I think it's also time to draw from Mironivka to change position to Bahmut or nearby villages but I see that our generals are very smart for now we are giving the ground and because Russian severe losses that's the main goal before we'll get enough weapons for the massive counterattack for now I see that Russia stack in every kind of the direction they are stuck here in Kharkiv they stuck here in Izum and with the latest update we see that Ukrainian army start to push near to Vugledar so here you can see Vladimirka Vladimirovka sorry and you can see the gray area it means that we have some sort of counterattack of Ukrainian armed forces the rest parts of the front lines are with no changes my friends so obviously it's bad then you are losing some ground the territory of your country but I'm happy that we saved the lives of our soldiers and they will continue to fight but those guys of course need some rest after what they experienced near to Zolote, Katerinovka and Hirske. My friends, thank you so much and now press the like. Also, you can support this channel. Just check out the links in the video description. There are so many ways you can do it. And for those of you who support me, you are awesome, my friends. I wish you a peaceful sky wherever you are. Have a great time.